Hello, welcome back to BS Live. Today I will be talking about the idea of mask and masking in Blender. So this actually covers a lot of areas actually use mask. Um, the first one that I could think of is uh, vertex weight masking. Okay, so we have a box here and I'm gonna subdivide it first. I'm gonna show it to you what I'm actually talking about. So subdivide this a couple of times until we have enough resolution so that's actually not enough we like to subdivide it more so we have now enough resolution so we can paint mask so there is a weight painting in blender weight painting it's a it's marked with blue and red color it's not uh, black and white but it's, it's actually the same thing um, red being the maximum uh, value and blue is like zero so this is one type of masking there are other type like what you can use in compositing so uh, normally if you want to mask out or mask uh, areas so you can adjust the transparency or applying effects on that area so this is me uh, doing masking uh, manually and I create a wave paint, right? And what is that for? Well, a lot of things. For example, the, the, the most obvious one is displacing. <clears throat> Here I'm displacing the box, of course, and I can displace it using noise. And if I want to mask it out, I can use this vertex group. So the thing that we painted before, it's uh, now it's mask. And you can switch the mask. You can invert it very, very quickly and easily. So that's uh, one type of mask. We can also use um, there's a mask modifier. Actually, it will do that, and you can invert it so it masks out the area. And I've done this in the past. It's actually quite interesting that you can smooth this. So not too much, but uh, yeah, you get the idea. You can smooth out areas, so you have this nice edge. And <laughs> apparently, this is actually something that transfers into sculpting, especially in Blender 2.83. So I'm using Blender 2.83. It's still beta, but it's already performing pretty good. So what I mean is that. So if not, I duplicate this guy and yeah, I I want to do, use sculpting. So sculpt mode actually have its own ways to do the masking. I always found masking is uh, very powerful. It's not the easiest idea to use. And um, in fact, uh, see, there's this one tool that's dealing with masking. Of course, you are painting areas, and if you after you paint the areas, then it, if you do brush, it will mask out that mask area, so you can't do the sculpting on the the black part. You can only paint on the white part, the one that that's not being masked. So that's actually really powerful, right? Um, so you can look, have a look at mask tool and all these mask uh, things like you can blur the mask, I think, extract the mask, a lot of things. There is uh, also one thing that's new, something new is a draw face set. I'm really interested with this one. This is actually quite new and it's, uh, it's actually kind of unlock something for me at least. So you can mask you can create a face set. Face set is almost like mask. It's mostly uh, kind of like zero and one, but you can store this value. It's a it's very interesting concept. You can paint something like this. Every time you paint, you get a new color. But you can always uh, hold options, and then you can. Uh, 
you can hold control and you can bleed out the area that you have painted so this is kind of you uh, marking the, the areas of uh, mesh that you want to sculpt later the cool thing about this is that you can also smooth out the area um, be careful when doing this don't put this strength at one just reduce it a little bit so and now if you start holding shift and paint around the area it's gonna start to fix the topo the topology the area between those two areas so there's kind of like there's a smooth division I think this is pretty cool as well and after you do this you can now s uh, s switch to something like mesh filter mesh filter normally does everything at the same uh, like you can choose an operations like inflate scale random and then you can apply to the whole area at the same time unless you turn on face sets okay that's that's really powerful so with the face sets set to on all this area that you've painted you can kind of just apply um, this filter mass filter to that area so this is random you can choose inflate and kind of push things in and out almost like uh, instantly marking the topology so I think this can be really powerful <clears throat> so yeah so that's like mark uh, kind of marking around but you can also like you can also do, do this kind of masking um, procedurally although it's not so obvious and let me try doing it using tissue add-on if I'm not wrong you can just go to vertex paint or weight paint mode rather and create a weight edit uh, let's try harmonic maybe or uh, there's reaction diffusion there's contour curves let's just choose harmonic so it's thinking and okay so now I'm kind of like procedurally playing with the weight I think um, actually maybe I have to use weight formula oh, okay weight formula okay this is a good one so there is this preset formula and you can use your own formula basically to procedurally create weight uh, it's not okay this one is interesting right suddenly you have stripes and this is procedural and you can you can perhaps use your own value uh, let me try multiply this with f1 so we have this slider so this add-on was made created by Alessandro Zomparelli for his tissue add-on uh, but I think this feature is really powerful so suddenly now you can displace based on that value okay so that's using tissue add-on there's one more thing there's one more thing so there's always another ideas using stretch of nodes so stretch of nodes and box P mesh I'm gonna output a box so this box I'll increase the resolutions maybe subdivide it 10 times uh, we have 1000 phase now not enough maybe 15 by 15 by 15 20 times okay well I think that's should be okay 
so we have this box and we want to generate vertex weight uh, procedurally or actually we can actually create masking for material index as well because that's interesting and because this material index can directly connect to blender sculpting so there's a lot of things here i'm talking about is uh, all over the place but it's really quite interesting i found so vertex weight so spreadshock have this vertex group weighting so you can plug in objects and then you can provide it with weight so this way is like vertex weight vertex weight paint in blender so from this box that i subdivided it many times we can use vector noise plug in the vertices and the output can be scalar and this noise can go into the weight if you go to the vertex weight now you can see a color this color was actually being generated by this vector noise the value is not between 0 and 1 you need to remap it mm -hmm. interesting right so you need to use map range and you you can enable this list limits which gonna limit alt minimum and alt maximum from the list automatically so now you can you can really just tweak this number until you get the noise you want very very powerful and you can use vector math and multiply scalar and you can adjust the noise the noise itself appears because of uh, so basically there's this vector points of the box and we multiply it with scalar until we get we get the vector noise and we can map the range so we have this and we can use displacement and you can use the vertex group and this is a uh, real time you can move the vector to create animations all right so that's one there's one one more one last thing okay the most complicated or not super complicated but it's similar idea to face set of blender sculpting we need to make sure we use the origins we need to make sure we use the center points of face so we have this origin so we use vector noise once again so we are using the center points of each polygon face we got this noise and the noise we want to map it into a range between zero and whatever value i'll just make it between zero and three and let's see let's look at the value it's not rounded so i want to use rounded and round n so i'm trying to round this value uh i think i should have rounded here Or maybe instead of round, I should uh, just floor it. So noise value coming in, and I map it between zero and two, <clears throat> and I get this value. Let's see. Oh well, at least we get a value between. 0 and 3 and it's, uh, it's rounded okay now um, we're gonna plug this into material index so it's not gonna do anything yet until we use material list and this is something funky that Spreadshock actually provide us Let's create a couple of different materials. 
in different colors so it's obvious okay so three different materials we're gonna assign it here and I'm gonna plug this into the objects and if we do it properly suddenly we have that how interesting that looks like a uh, face set blender sculpting right so stretchup does this in real time it's procedurally coloring areas of face with different material now if we duplicate this and we go to sculpt mode we go to face sets and then we initialize the face sets based on materials so what's gonna happen is that I believe we have made this area did I do it properly or I, I didn't select this did I um, mesh filter turn on face sets oh yeah all right so I'm actually using the area already let's use scale and scale it in and out you can relax try to relax or random so randomize the blue part maybe I don't have enough uh, resolution here or uh, the objects from spread chalk does not have uh, normal by default doesn't not have proper normal you need to turn it on turn on smooth shade and calculate normal the cool thing about this of course you can increase the resolutions and you can duplicate this guy go to sculpt mode draw face sets initialize from the material and then paint so this is what I want to show you really you, you can paint and smooth this area so there's a funky thing happening there with the topology but at, at least I have shown you the some of the things that you can do with it I uh, I don't know if you can blur face sets yet to create mass I don't know I think that's probably possible For material. Oh, we cannot see the color here. Interesting. But anyway, I did. Uh, so I talk about masking with vertex weight and also with the face set, and also uh, also how you can manually paint and procedurally generate it. It's a very interesting topic actually because uh, mask really introduce uh, an interesting problem that you can tackle uh, in so many ways uh, the ultimate masking or weighting is like if you you have a photo um, of a person or objects or something and then you create depth based on uh, using AI or machine learning you create depth so that's another area of masking that you can you can actually find out there and then you bring it into blender so you can for example turn flat objects or flat photo into 2d or two and a half d photo all right so yeah hopefully that's uh, really quite interesting and for you but something you can try yourself um, um, let me know if you have anything to add if you have something you want to ask just leave me comments uh, down below and I'll, I'll try to answer it uh, thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time bye